Well, hello everybody and welcome to my show. My name is Jason DaCosta and this is Consistent Preterism. Thank you for joining me today. I hope everybody's doing great out there. I had a few people reach out to me and ask if everything's all right and where I've been and all that. And so I wanted to uh, just put out a little check-in video here. Um, and I do this from time to time. I kind of come and go and depending upon how busy life is determines you know how often you guys hear from me. Um, but a few things have happened recently, um, semi-recently, and uh, have changed my course a little bit here. Um, number one, about 10 days ago, I uh, started noticing that my company was getting a lot of online orders suddenly at like 5 p.m. on a Monday evening. Um, and so it was kind of unusual. Obviously, you know your usual uh, order, you know, order uh, online order system and how how the orders come in and whatnot and so um i watched it for a while and they kept coming in they wouldn't stop and so i did a little research and it was all the same product by the way it was all the same ppe um mask a respirator and so i uh what i did was i um started to look around online do a little research and lo and behold I ended up finding pretty quickly actually that CBS World News had shared an article um, about the best respirators and masks out there and whatnot and uh, and so they linked our company website and so this order push that I was noticing on Monday evening was the beginning of us going viral um, when we realized what had happened and how they plugged us, we kind of celebrated a little bit. We went to the shop at like 11 p.m. on a Monday night and started drinking beers and flipping tables and doing caveman type stuff. Um, but it was it was fun. It was a fun night. And that night we sort of, uh, you know, jokingly wondered and said, gee, imagine if we got like 300 orders. Imagine if we got like 400 orders from this thing. That would be amazing, right? Because we're, my company's mainly in uh, medical and dental. We don't typically deal with the general public. Um, but this was all general public orders coming in. So it was like, okay, great. You know, this is a new, we're opening up a new customer base here. People are starting to learn that we have this stuff. Um, and so here we are 10 days later and we're almost at 4,000 orders. <laughs> we're, I think we're around 3,700 right now. So you know, 10 days ago, we were joking. Was it 10 days ago? Yeah, about 10 days ago. We were joking, what if we got 300, 400 orders? And now we have about 3,700. So uh, things have gone banana sandwich really quickly. And going viral is no joke. Uh, I looked at our analytics online and our web traffic was up 2 million percent on the Wednesday after they shared the article. 2 million percent, which is insane. It's not even fathomable. But uh, yeah, so it's a very good thing, obviously, business wise, but um, it's required a lot of diligence and dedication and working overtime and, you know, working all day, going home for dinner, coming back for five hours at night. And some of the guys are even staying overnight, but it's a lot of work, you know, to just process each order and pack it, ship it, you know, and all that. And obviously, you know, we sold out really quickly because we weren't expecting it. So we had to, you know, air some stuff. in. so long story short, uh, it's just been a chaotic time um, job-wise. It's just nonstop. And so I don't know when I'm going to get any relief with that. Um, on top of that, the good news is uh, the DaCosta clan is having a baby um, and we're due in July. So I've known this obviously for quite some time. But, uh, you know, now we're five months in and, you know, the wifey's growing and Obviously, my responsibilities increase and, you know, you, you got to kind of cater a little bit. You know how it is, guys. Uh, so that's uh, exciting news. We don't know the gender yet. Um, we're actually doing a gender reveal thing on, the I don't know, like a week and a half from now. So uh, that's coming down the pike real soon. And obviously, we're uh, bracing for impact with that. So um, just a lot of stuff going on. Craziness craziness um feel like i'm living in groundhog day that movie when you just wake up and it's just the same thing over and over and over again trying to claw through piles of work albeit a good problem 
Um, of course, anybody would love to have that problem, but you have to navigate through it. So needless to say, I have not had much time to invest into studies and uh, audios. And, you know, by the time I'm um, done for the day, I'm fried. And then when I wake up in the morning, I'm still fried. So I'm just, ah, I just don't have it in me. So bear with me. Um, you know, the other aspect of it is you get tired of all these delusional, dishonest folk, you know, like Christians are dishonest. The, the AIO viewpoint is extremely logical. <clears throat> Excuse me. It makes a lot of sense. It honors the story. It honors the trajectory. It honors uh, the flow, the ebb and flow of the story right up until the end. It honors the time statements. It honors audience relevance. It honors everything Jesus said. It honors everything the New Testament said. It surely honors everything the Old Testament said. And yet somehow people still find every which way to reject it. So I'm not saying that I'm, uh, you know, broken down, battered, defeated, anything like that, because obviously the truth is the truth and no one's going to change that. But my thinking is if people really uh, wanted to know the truth, this thing would have blown up far more than it already has. And it has blown up. I mean, there's a lot of AIOers out there now. But um, it's just unfortunate that people would rather stay in deception and clear uh, dishonesty rather than come to the light and see the truth and be set free from that religious nonsense. Um, and then you have the whole myth side of things, which these guys just love to screw things up every which way from Sunday. Um, there's just no consistency whatsoever. They have no clue what they're doing. They're throwing, you know, apple pies at the wall to see how many stick. Um, and that's just banana sandwich in and of itself. So, you know, it's just, my, my point here is, is it really worth it for me to produce these videos? Is it really worth it for me to take time out of my uh, increasingly busy life, especially now with a child coming up and wanting to obviously spend time and be part of that child's life? Is it really worth it for me to soak my precious time and energy into these things? And I don't know anymore. I've been doing this for three years now, uh, over three years now, and I just don't know. I mean, there's 500, almost 500 videos on my YouTube site. I know a lot of people have gotten a lot out of them, learned a lot, have come to the AIO viewpoint, have been set free from them. Um, but I just don't know that uh, it's worth my time at this particular time, especially. Um, so I don't know. I do have... Uh, at least another five or 10 of the uh, 100 reasons already pre-recorded. I just haven't shared them yet. So I, I need to get time to, you know, not so much edit them, but put a cover pick on them and share them. And it's just, just time consuming stuff. So I just, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I hate to drop this on you guys, but I wanted to at least check in and not just leave you high and dry. But yeah, the combination of going viral on CBS World News um, and also, uh, with a baby just a, you know, four or five months away has really taken up a lot of my time. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing good out there. Uh, drop a line in the comments. Would love to hear from you. Give it a like a ruski. you know, the drill. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens over the coming weeks and months. And, uh, if I get the urge, I'll, uh, I'll put those, uh, those reasons out and share them. And then we can certainly hopefully come back to that if and when time permits um, and keep cranking away on the 100 reasons. I mean, there's so many reasons. I just literally, I could look at any book, pick a passage and make a segment out of it. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just that easy. So uh, anyways, hope you all have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.